God humbles the proud and you know these people are puffed up with pride and they will be humbled as believers though you know we have to allow for the lord to humble us as well do not become prideful do not forget where you came from don't think that you're better than anyone it is jesus working through you anyway you know you did nothing for him to save you it was because of jesus so you know don't don't get prideful so i wanted to share a story on being meek okay <laughs> meekness is not a weakness so after i came to the lord god still had to work on my pride and I kept asking him to humble me more and more. And then I would get put into these situations to help me with that. And then I would continue to ask for him to humble me <laughs> more and more. Because I was trying to be like, Jesus. <laughs> so a few times, you know, I had some heavy assistance from the Holy Spirit. Okay, the Holy Spirit really helped me to not retaliate. And then there were times where God, you know, he didn't give me so much assistance. He wanted to see, you know, can you do this on your own? Because I can't do all the work for you, you know, all the time. But he allowed for the Holy Spirit to you know, really assist me the first few times so that I could see how good it felt to not retaliate and to allow the persecution and to keep my mouth closed because in the moment it doesn't feel good, but afterwards you feel great. So, yeah, he was working on my pride and... I got offered a conditional discharge where I had to go to this rehab program for four months. And if I completed the program, then I would get the charges dropped. But I wound up getting kicked out anyways. OK, and I know that sounds bad, but he did not send me there. So I would not have a felony. OK, I was always going to get a felony to glorify the Lord and he sent me there to learn and to minister okay so I'm in this program and one day we were in class and the teacher was talking about meekness and he asked one of the girls if somebody bumped into her like what what would she do and she was like I will push her and, you know, at this point, you know, God was, you know, really working on my pride. And in my head, I'm like, oh, not me. I'm so humble now. OK, I would just know it was an accident or I would brush it off because <laughs> I'm so humble now. <laughs> so I didn't realize that I still had that pride in me because I was that pride talking. And God was like, okay, we're going to see about that. And then he humbled me even more. And, you know, when you have pride, <laughs> you will get humiliated. And I got humiliated. So I was in the cafeteria sitting with this girl and this one friend that I had made. And a lot of people did not like this friend of mine. Because she also had a problem with pride. And I saw a lot of myself in her. You know, the old me. And so I could, you know, relate to her. And I wasn't as spicy as her. But, you know, I had compassion for her. And God really had me ministering to her. And a lot of people didn't see the girl that I saw behind closed doors you know so anyways she was talking about this girl that she didn't like and then the other girl started talking about something in her neighborhood 
that made me laugh. Okay, so we were just like we were always laughing actually because you know that was just our personality. You know, we were just always happy for the most part. <laughs> so this one girl. You know, just people do not like when when you are happy. So this one girl was like, everybody want to hee hee ha ha. And, you know, that pride kicked in. <laughs> so I get up to dump my food out. And she's mopping the floor. And I go, well, are you all right? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, what were you saying? And she was like... If it doesn't apply to you, then it doesn't apply to you. It, but it did apply to me because I was hee hee ha ha. <laughs> so I was like, you need to calm the bleep down. Okay. And then she slams down the mop and she's like, F you, you blur, right? And then somebody came out of nowhere and held her back. Okay. And that was the Lord right there. That was the Lord, because I would have got kicked out and went to jail. See, in this rehab, rehab program, if you were there voluntarily, you would just get kicked out. But if you were there on a conditional discharge, then they would call your PO and, you know, you're going to jail, honey. <laughs> you're going to jail. So I should have walked away. First of all, shouldn't have said anything. I should have just humbled myself, let it go, let it go. Then I was just standing here to prove a point. Like, I am not scared of you. The only reason why I have not attacked you is because I'm on probation. So I was just standing there, and there was this lady that I used to call auntie. That She was pulling me back. She was trying to pull me away, and she kept telling me it's not worth it. Just walk away. Walk away, and I would not walk away. Finally, you know, I wound up leaving, <laughs> but I was so humiliated, and I began to cry because I was so angry. This was something that I've never done before. I've never backed down from a fight, and I was humiliated because I felt like punked. I felt defeated, but, you know, for the first time in a long time, I had to think like about my future and how far God had taken me. I could have chose to prove myself to a room full of people that I'm never going to see again just to prove that I'm not a little punk. Or I could just drop it, leave it alone, not care about what they thought about me and thought about my future and my family's future because what you do affects everyone around you. You know, I would have hurt a lot of people in my life. Just to try to prove something to people that don't care about me that I'm not even ever going to see. And, you know, I was really mad. But after I calmed down, in the moment, it didn't feel good. It did not feel good. But afterwards, I felt so good. Like, yes, I did a good thing. And it pleased the Lord. It pleased the Lord. So allow for the Lord to humble you. Don't forget where you came from. That pride will get you humiliated. <laughs> it will get you humiliated. And God will use your enemies to humble you. You know, it's all a test. He's working on you. He's helping you to become more like him. Meekness is not a weakness. And, you know, what if... Your enemy is your boss. What are you going to do then? Or what are you going to be like? Oh, you ain't about to talk to me like that. Or I'm not doing that. You go do it. I'm tired of you treating me this way. No, things are not going to end well for you. You know, he's using our enemies for this world so that we can be meek out in this world. You know, he he's protecting us. And it's not a weakness. People view it as a weakness like, oh, you get in play. You're going to let people treat you like that. But it's harder to not retaliate than it is to retaliate. Okay, so it's not a weakness. It is a strength. 
And these people are puffed up with pride and they are going to be humiliated. Okay, they're not learning the lessons. Okay, so make sure that you learn the lesson. Okay, it's not a weakness. It is a strength. Do not, do not put yourself up here or God will bring you down here. Okay, let him humble you. It's not a bad thing. Okay, we want to be more like Jesus. So allow for him to humble you or you will get humiliated. <laughs> the song of the day. Love you.